Question number one taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths uh, HSC P3. For the first part, simplify sine 2 alpha sec alpha. And the second part, given that 3 cos 2 beta plus 7 cos beta is equal to 0, we need to find the exact value of cos beta. Okay, so let's do it. Right, uh, this is June. 2014 uh, P3 HSC level max. Okay, so syllabus code this. All right. So question number one. Now we need to simplify for the first part sine of two alpha sec alpha. Now what is sine of two alpha? This is double angle formula. And this is basically we saying 2 sine of alpha cos of alpha. And what is sec of alpha? It is 1 upon cos of alpha. For the first part, this is done. You have 2 sine alpha. Here we are. Right, and the second part <coughs> is we need to solve the equation 3 cos 2 beta plus 7 cos beta is equal to 0. All right, so let's do it. Now this is double angle formula again. So this is, what is uh, cos 2 beta? Cos 2 beta is 2 cos square beta minus 1. That's the double angle formula. Plus 7 cos of beta. It's equal to 0. So 3 times 2 is 6 cos square beta plus 7 cos of beta. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 is equal to 0. So you just need to factorize. You have 6, and how can you get 6? 3 cos of beta times 2 cos of beta. 3 times 2 is 6 cos cos square beta. Alright, so now we need to get 7 in the middle, and there's 3 here, so maybe we can put 3 here and 1 here. 1 times 2 cos beta is 2 cos beta. 3 times 3 cos beta is 9 cos of beta. 9 minus 2 is going to give us 7 cos of beta. And here we are, 7 cos of beta. So therefore that corresponds. If it is mi 9 minus, minus 2 cos beta there, that should be minus 1, because minus 1 times cos 2 cos beta is minus 2 cos beta. So we have 3 cos beta minus 1. 3 cos beta minus 1 times um, 2 cos beta plus 3. And that is going to give us 0. So what is this? This is cos of beta is equal to one third. And this one is cos of beta. You send the 3 on the other side becomes minus 3 and the 2 goes to divide. This one is rejected. Alright, because cos of uh, beta cannot be a negative number that is bigger than 1. So this one is accepted. And we have been told to find the exact value of cos of beta. Therefore the only value is this one. Here we are for question number 1.